Hey guys, it's Omidia Who Thinks Wrestling Is Real here. Today I'm going to explain how James Ellsworth revolutionized the WWE. Kind of like how the Browns revolutionized sucking. But rare! I assume you shout through your cracked iPhone. How could this chinless fuck revolutionize the WWE when he was only around for a year? That's a stupid question, but I'll explain anyway. Do you remember the match between James Ellsworth and Braun I Flip Cars Strowman? James does some talking, the bell rings, and he goes and punches Braun Strowman right in the chest. That was the moment Ellsworth invented punch. That's right, this man, who I didn't even believe was human, invented the act of punching. The second his fist made contact with Strowman, the entire universe did a fucking dab and created Peter Griffin. This moment sent ripples through time and space and even affected the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You know how there was only one timeline in the 14 million where the vegans beat Thanos? Before Ellsworth hit Strowman, that was the other way around. This is also what caused Jinder Mahal's sudden transformation from Nat to Buff. As we've just learned two seconds ago, James Ellsworth's first impact is enough for him to deserve the WWE Hall of Fame every fucking spot. But I'm not done. A few months after this game <laughs> discovery, he did it again. You see, AJ Styles knew Ellsworth had earned a title shot after beating Ali A in a record breaking 0 0.2514 seconds and a half. So he gave him a non title match because he wanted to prove that he was worthy of being champion. What could have been the first ever five quadrillion star match was turned into an absolute molestation. You see, the man AJ Styles beat for the belt. Dean Ambrose was the special guest referee in that match. Remember they had that in the Vimeo games? Dean had completely rigged the match against Styles and even beat the shit out of him when he wasn't supposed to, giving Ellsworth an undeserved victory. Now I assume you're expecting me to say that this is what created Slipknot, but you're wrong. Giant Gonzalez made that, and Oxygen, and Crotch Hair, all while chloroforming The Undertaker. I just needed to give you some context for what happens next. This is how James Ellsworth won 8 Slammies and an Oscar. It was TLC 2016. A WWE Hall of Famer was about to become president of the USA, and Saint Nick was ready to pull out all the presents for the good boys. That's right, Christmas was coming. But it came early for the naughty Ambrose. He and AJ were in a TLC match for the championship, and it seemed like AJ had won. But as AJ Styles climbs that ladder, James Ellsworth ambushes him. As AJ Styles is recovering, Dean Ambrose climbs the ladder. And now it looks like Dean is going to win back the championship. But Ellsworth realizes that Dean has been trying to use him to his advantage. And right when Dean is about to grab the W, Ellsworth turns his back on him. He pushes the ladder, and Ambrose falls through two tables, costing him the match. This puts Shakespeare to shame. He never could have come up with something as emotional as this. This was Romeo and Juliet on steroids. You could feel the connection between these two friends slip away as it unfolded. It was beautiful, truly a masterpiece of its time. Also, that's when he invented pushing things. Another revolutionary discovery from Mr. Ellsworth. He's also invented love, winning the women's money in the bank, escaping cages, and sexism. But yeah, this was an in-depth analysis on what James Ellsworth has done throughout his short time with the WWE. Expect him in the Hall of Fame in 2019. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Dislike the video if you think wrestling's fake. Now hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications and win a free gift card! Okay.